Hello folks and welcome back. On this episode we're going to replace the frosted window in an RV door with this AP Products Thin Shade. Doesn't matter what brand of RV you have because most of the doors are all the same made by the same manufacturer. Sit back relax and enjoy the installation. This is what our window looks like. It's a frosted window, lets light in, but you can't see through it. Now we do know there are other manufacturers that make windows for these trailers. Uh, the difference is, is their shades actually have little slats that go up and down and open up, but uh, it kind of blocks your view. Here's a view of what one of the shades looks like. The nice thing about these shades is you can't open them without opening the door. Now on ours, you have to actually open the door and then open the screen, but it gives you a total clear view here. Nothing's blocking your view as you're looking out. Let's go ahead and get started with the installation. Now I've already removed the inner band on the door here, as you can see. And ours, there's two different ways they hook these in. Uh, ours has little plastic clips that they just push the two frames together and they get, grab, and you just take a little screwdriver from behind and pop these clips out. They also have where they have screws, and you'll see all this on the new door. You have screws that go all the way around this window, and you have to make sure you put those in. This is our old frame, and these are the tabs I'm talking about. And you see the little slot there. You just stick a screwdriver in there, pry those tabs apart, and then the frame will come right off. Then you're going to remove your outer window frame, and it's going to leave a probably a silicone seal around here. Just get a plastic razor blade like you see here. You can buy that at most hardware stores and that'll help you slowly scrape this off. Now it's going to take a time to get all this scraped off and just make sure you don't damage your fiberglass. After you scrape all your silicone off you want to go ahead and just clean this surface. Make sure it's nice and clean for the new window. I put a bead of caulk around the outside even though the window does come with a factory bead of seal on it. I just wanted the extra security to make sure the window didn't leak. Next thing we're going to do is take the outer frame with the glass installed in it. And we're going to put it into the opening of the door and we're going to push firmly against the actual silicone that we put in here to make sure that we get a good seal. Next thing we're going to do is to take painter's tape and actually tape up around the entire window to hold it in place while we put the inner frame in the door. Now that we have the outer frame secured in the door, let's do the inner frame. You'll see on the inner frame here that at the top it's a little wider than at the bottom. That's for how the shade goes in there. The wide part is the top. We're going to take our shade out here. And then once we get it out of the box, we're going to go ahead and put it in the inner frame. And you'll see that the top portion with the actual shade goes in the top portion of the frame. Make sure you get the handle to pull it down face it out. You gotta get the strings right. They go on the outside of the frame. And then take your little cords and stuck them in here, your excess cord, and put your bottom portion in. Now these won't sit in here by themselves. They tend to pop out so what I'm going to do is grab some uh, tape and go ahead and tape them down so that they'll stay in place. As long as you don't go past the shade and past the end, you can tape these in and you'll never see the tape once it's installed. We'll do the top here. And then we'll tape in the bottom. Once we have these taped in so they're in place, we go ahead and take our frame to the door We'll install it on the front side of the door. I hand put the screws in here, just hand tighten them in. And then I go back with a screwdriver once I've got them all in there and tighten them all down. Once you have all of these down, you are finished with the door. Make sure your shade works, pull it down, raise it up. As long as that works, then go ahead, take your tape off. You'll have to clean up any mess that you made on the door, but then you're done. And this is what it looks like looking out the shade window with the shade up from the inside of the trailer.
and then this is what it looks like with the shade down from the inside you can see there's no light coming through it's going to give you plenty of privacy and then here's what it looks like from the outside and you can't tell when the shades up or down because it's a tinted window well that completes the installation of our RV door window we hope this helps you out if you have any questions drop us a line we'll put links to everything we use down in the description below with that being said we want to tell you we appreciate you watching and thank you for your support and we'll see you in the campground